Howdy doody folks. Um, just thought I'd just quickly jump on the camera and just uh, tell you about something that happened today. So today we were doing some of the final bits and pieces for the Lee Duffy documentary. Um, and so we were filming over in South Bank, Lee's local haunt. And on the surface of it, you look at South Bank and it gets, it does get a bad rap. And, you know, on the surface of it, yeah, it, it has some issues, but probably no more issues than any other town has. Um, realistically, ob today's objective was we needed to do a, a, a few more filmy bits with Jamie Boyle, um, get his chatty bits. We needed to incorporate some more with Paul Venice. But what we also needed to do is we needed to get some aerial shots um, using the commercial drone of the South Bank area. Um, and where Lee used to frequent, just to keep the story absolutely uh, bulletproof with it. And a funny thing happened, so we pulled up at, uh, you know, the drone launch site. Um, that's uh, myself, uh, Jamie Boyle was with us, and Dan from Fat Cat Productions as well. And so we decided, right, we're going to put the drone up here, and then basically scour the area. We had a great view over Teesside, and uh, the industrial parts of Teesside. And literally, as soon as the drone went up, uh, somebody shot out of the house and they were like, what the fuck are you doing with that? I said, whoa, 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 hang on a minute, you know, and, you know, bear in mind, our drone pilot is commercial and uh, he, you know, he can he can do these things. And he was like, what the fuck are you doing with that? Uh, you know, get that drone down and so on. And so we've, we're, we're actually filming. What the fuck are you filming? I said, we're filming the new Lee Duffy documentary. And the minute we mentioned Lee Duffy's name, you know, for the first time, I've actually appreciated the power that that name carries. Even to this day, this guy just spun round on his heels, went back in, and we didn't hear a murmur from him. And then there was a, a group of, uh, you know, travellers uh, came across uh, with a horse and cart. And there's about six or seven of them on the back of this horse and cart. And exactly the same. What the fuck are you doing? So we're filming a documentary. Who's it on? Lee Duffy. Without a word said, the horse was round and they were off and they just left us to it. And today, I just, you know, for the first time, and I've been working on this documentary, first first started this this work, it pro probably uh, way before lockdown. And But today, I've actually appreciated the power of the Lee Duffy name. And I'm heavily involved as the director and producer of this documentary. And I didn't realise, you know, everybody's saying, that, you know, Lee Duffy and, uh, you know, his name. And I've interviewed so many subjects on this. But I've seen it firsthand today, the power of the name Lee Duffy. We were just literally left alone. Now, there are just a couple of people there from South Bank. Naturally, they're probably wondering what's going on and they're being defensive of their area. Absolutely, you know, top, top job, you know, with that. Um, you know, on a whole, South Bank, how have we been received in South Bank? South Bank has been absolutely brilliant the residents are aware that we're you know we're making this documentary and you know the, the the welcome that we've actually got from a lot of people has been absolutely outstanding so i just want to give a big shout out to to everybody in south bank you know you, you folks are absolutely top tree you you really are and it's things like that that really help us um be able to capture uh, the story you know in film and you know be able to bring that you know to the to the table from there and as a production company i've said this before we are very neutral with this uh you know we have no ulterior um you know motive to try and portray lee bad or portray portray lee good what we're doing is we're using the subjects and all those subjects who have come forward to talk to us to get their opinions and it really is a 50 50 split you know some people are going to find lee was probably badass but they've probably been on the receiving end of his fist Others, he's probably helped out and so on. And there's a good side of him as well. And how we're going to be producing this, uh, you know, final edit, which comes out in November, we're going to leave it up to you, the viewer, to actually decide. We're not glorifying violence, far from it. You know, people are saying, well, you know, why are you glorifying gangsters and so on? And a lot of comments on the YouTube channel about that. But we're not glorifying any anybody. This is a story of major interest the name lee duffy even in this day and age you know many many years after his death people are still absolutely fascinated with the guy and so we're bringing that story out um with a quality that people probably haven't seen before you know in this in this documentary and we're going to leave it up to everybody to make their own minds up 
on you know lee duffy himself so good bad you know we're on the fence with it we we are producing um the the factual evidence that we've got and we're leaving it up for uh, everybody else to make their own informed decisions because right now everybody seems to have an opinion on lee duffy nobody's actually met him so we're bringing in you know people who rode with him uh police officers people who are on the wrong end of him and so on and to, to try and get a bloody good story there for you um but again just thumbs up to everybody who's shown support who's shown love you know for this documentary it's been bloody hard making it because we we want it absolutely right and there's still many many hours in the edit before you know this this actually comes out at the back end of november and again folks if you like what we're doing there's going to be many more documentaries on significant figures in gangland non-gangland uh, we're producing a big one next year called uh, gangs of the north as well um, a lot of these things are going to go out free a lot of trailers are actually coming on the youtube channel so if you if you like what you see and you're interested in the true crime genre and beyond then you know stick a subscribe on the channel flick your alerts on and you'll be the first to find out what's going on everything that we're doing. Have a fab day.